Hi, I'm Mark Jardine and today we're out on a J70 to really look at how modern tech is helping give us a better understanding of what's happening with the rig when we're out on the water. We're used to the static rig loads that we have when we set up the boat but here today we're going to use sensors to see what's happening out in the water, the dynamic rig loads as to what's happening with the forestay, the main sheet tensions, just to see what is happening and how we can use that to improve our sailing and make it so those days when we have those feel it, that feeling where we've got everything in place and it's just going so smoothly and how we can turn that into a day when, when we don't quite know what's going on with our sailing, why it's not going perfectly, we can use that data to repeat those perfect settings. Today I've got Adam Monday from Ocean Ropes on board, Chips Howarth, the CEO of Cyclops Marine and Mario Trindad who is the J70 2019 world champion. So we've got some real experts on board the boat today. So I have downloaded the Cyclops Marine app and now we're going to connect in to one of the sensors for the first time. And I've loaded the app and I get the first add a sensor. So go into sensors, click plus, unnamed sensor. And it comes up with a QR code scanner and allow it. So here we go. There it is, the sensor is connected in. And I will call this one Forstay. So now here straight away it is reading the smart tune sensor on the forestay. I've got the reading on my phone, 150 kilos. And as we pull on the backstay, we should be able to see the numbers go straight up. They're going from 150 straight up to 310 kilos on the forestay. 400. We also, on the J70 today, have a smart link on the main sheet. So I'm just going to switch that on with the power button. And then again, scan the QR code. Got that. And then I'll just put in main sheet on that. There it is. And now we have two of our sensors going. Now that I have both the smart tune on the forestay and the smart link on the main sheet connected and so both devices are displaying on my phone side by side. When we were back on the dock, we had the four-stay tension displayed and it was in the 100, 100 bracket, 150. But here, when we're out on the water, we can see that that tension has gone straight away up to 320, 330 kilos. And so there is a huge increase on four-stay tension, which beforehand a lot of people really weren't expecting. It is really interesting now having the app on my phone and we can see as the main sheet tension comes on you can see first of all the main sheet tension grow low go higher but also this whole dynamic balance where the four stay tension as well goes up at the same time really showing how much difference that main sheet makes across the boat and what it is doing around the boat and we can see straight away that four stay tension now going up to 318 kilos. One of the really interesting things about having a smart, smart tune on the four stay is seeing how things interact with each other. Um, most importantly was looking at the four stay load when putting on the kicking strap compared to when putting on the main sheet. 
and here if we take a look at the instruments we're going to first of all pull on the kicking strap pre-bending the mast and you'll see straight away the force day load reduces and then if we let that off and then pull on the main sheet instead it shows how the load stays on and reduces that sag there and this just shows how when pulling on the main sheet it spreads the load up the mast and that's what keeps the tension on that force day reducing the sag whereas doing the kicking strap pre-bends the rig and actually reduces the tension on the force day and so this just gives a much much better understanding of the dynamics as to what's happening while you're sailing compared to those settings when you're static on the dock. For chips, here we've got the smart link. How is this actually measuring the load on the main sheet? Okay, so this, this link here in the, in the line of the main sheet, the, the clever thing we've designed is on these two faces here, we are uh, doing what's known as strain gauging. We are monitoring in line how much uh, this metal is moving under load. So if you remember from your physics class, uh, uh, Dr. Robert Hooke, he developed Hooke's law. The idea being, the more you pull a material, the more it will stretch linearly until its elastic limit. And that's effectively what we're measuring. And then in this tiny little box here, what we do, we amplify that noise and we send it out as a Bluetooth signal. And how does this vary from, say, load pins that you would have on various other boats in the big boat scene? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, load pins are a, a great product. I mean, they were developed uh, back in the America's Cup days. I think Australia 2 in 1983, when it won the America's Cup. And, and rumor is that's the first boat that ever had load pins. Uh, but the, the challenge there, the technology was measuring load in shear, which is a really complicated, difficult thing to do. And what we've been able to do is by measuring in line, it's a much more accurate, more simple and repeatable way of doing it. And what sort of accuracy are you seeing? We, uh, we, we are working to a 1% of the maximum load. So for example, this uh, uh, fitting here is uh, a maximum working load, 600 kilos. So this is accurate to within six kilos. So with SmartLink and SmartTune, this really has brought this load sensing technology from the big boat down to the smaller end of the market. And how do you see people using this out on the water when they're trading? Well, I think, uh, first up, by using modern tech, we now make it accessible price-wise. It's not now America's Cup in you know, arms race pricing. Uh, and in most yacht classes, these are able, you're able to use them. So you can then get those live dynamic settings and start hitting them on the race course. In other classes, particularly some of the one designs, it may not be allowed by class rules. And we see the role of it then uh, in training and converting the feel to an analytical number. You know, what feels fast? How can we document that? How can we get our mark settings and repeat that on the race course when you're not allowed to use them in the racing environment? It's been really interesting when we've been out on the water, how quickly we can see what the different settings are doing when we pull on the main sheet, how it's affecting the force day, when we pull on the kicker, how it's affecting the force day, and what that's really doing to the rig. So this must give sailors a lot of confidence in their settings. Well, I think what it is doing is allowing people to relay what feels fast to then an analytical number for that day when you just can't get the feel, you just know the boat's sticking, you don't know why, you can start coming back to a number to help you do it. So it can help make every day that you go to say, you see a good day. Yeah, exactly. You know, we see it almost like the rev counter. If the sails are the engine and you go out and you buy your new sail, you go and buy your new engine, what you want is a rev counter to make sure you're getting the most out of that one. 